Hey, hey there, Joy the World friends and family. I am Joy, here to take an intuitive peek into the energies going on around you. Friends and subscribers, welcome back. And if you're new to this channel, click that subscribe button down below, baby. It is free as always. And if you would like to be notified anytime I post new videos, just ring that bell out beside it and they will be sure to let you know. So if you are checking this out on Monday, it's not that it's a Monday read, it's an any day read as these are timeless energy sessions brought to you to help you golden up, brighten up into your true self so that you live a life that's successful. Mm-hmm. Satisfying, fulfilling, and if it's not, maybe it'll be humorous and delightful like my baby. But anyways, either way, welcome here to joy up your spirit. If you can't tell already, we bring in some zhuzh and some good energy to this to help you listen from yourself to yourself, getting the resonance and the confirmation that you need because only you know the journey that you are walking out here. But it is my goal to have your best dreams come true, okay? So with that, friends, I'm telling you, there's a bit of red going on. You got red, you got warmth, you got energy, earth star energy you're trying to bring on up here for this magic Monday. And this would happen to be when the Sagittarius full moon is coming through. And they're saying, please don't worry about that. It is really no big deal. And this is a a little slot of energy irregardless is to know that the new moon, they talk about being your unconscious mind and the full moon brings it forward into the conscious mind. So it's not that we stress or worry or fret or fear. It actually comes through a lot of rhythm and repetition of rest, sleep, eating well, taking care of your body and choosing joy in your everyday life, choosing to release what you cannot control, which is pretty much everything. And then uh, to stay in that place of freedom that you find joy and happiness in the everyday because we are actually made of fibers of happiness. That is our spiritual DNA. That's what Big Papa's been teaching me. And y'all, please be patient because they're teaching me a lot. If you can't tell, they have me move my camera because they're trying to get me to use my left hand. When I had that brain injury, this left side, I just often tend to forget that it's there. And that is not the best. So they're like, Joy, we're going to put it in your left hand. And I'll tell you the trick to that, y'all. They're having me activate our potential. So it's important for everyone out here, not just me. And they're wanting you to know that there is that potential inside of you, but it is through joyous questioning, through childlike curiosity and wonder that it begins to bring forward. And how do I know that? Look at this, what we have showing up. Sorry, I had to switch hands, y'all. And the light seer's tarot. It's celebrating the knowingness of who you are in the joyful play of the everyday, stirring up. These are the heartstrings of life, the energy of the world that you are stirring up as you begin to move about and go about. This is the power of your permission. That's why we have this goldness world, the yellow energy stirring up inside of us, that you have the power to move it and to move beyond the eye of the needle, to take the thing that used to feel constraining and restraining on you, which is authority systems rules, a.k.a big papa right coming in over here but it really has to do with that new Aquarian um, shift coming in of Saturn Jupiter Pluto moving on through to where we begin to find that things that seem restrictive before it was all perception it was all conceptualized and it's that it's how we see it is so it will be and they're telling you to power up and turn yourself on whatever you need to do to fulfill that. But I know it's going to be something when you bring in sexual magic tarot. Look at me still using my right hand, y'all. They're having us go into a whole new season, thus the potential. And to do that, we have to wane off the actual or the reality that we've been in to usher in a new truth, a new season, because it is a new set of energy. It's also why they're not having me do 2021 predictions or readings for any of the signs, because as y'all know, I'm not reading you and your sign. I'm reading the energy around us our divine dance of the cosmic guild is what they're calling themselves the planets and everything and how the transit charts align with your natal chart so they said we're gonna have to wait till the energy shifts or else where you are going to be fooled now I'm not here to set you up for any um, false expectations okay or to lead you in a way that is false so if those do come about, they're going to come about with a joyous season change um, around the holidays and towards the new year, okay? But that's just so you can tap into the energy. If not, let's see what's coming in. We have opening showing up, and that's what they're wanting us to do, to open our minds, our power, our potential. Come in through our bodies, right? And this begins to integrate soul magic as well because the soul is what can supersede the limitations here on earth. And it starts 
a new flux, a new flow of something beyond this realm, something that did not yet exist until you bring it into being through that eye of the needle, through the mind. So they're asking you to open your mind here. Be receptive. Set your intent. And that doesn't mean just resolutions, y'all. Our intent is what we look towards achieving. And you have to have a bit of flexibility and acumen to go along with it. Um, because it's not all up to you, right? There's a power of a greater will going on here. The will of life. That's what life is, is the will of love. The will of God, or however you would call it or perceive it, is knowing that it is this divine relationship going about. An energy dancing between the two. Between you and time and space. So they're saying it renewed clarity, centered, light, merge, and radiate. If this card doesn't look like everything we've already seen in the light seers, it's just an affirmation and a reaffirmation of what is going on. And they're talking about, for many of you, it's one little piece. It's one little piece. Everything is in place except this one little piece. And the piece that they're talking about is your P-E-A-C-E. -E. Your acceptance of this is how it is. That there's so much that we do not know, but that peace comes from trusting the divine. Because as you can hear, it is very quiet around here. The energies have become like a blanket around our earth. So with this, we have an Erte. These are my golden arches that I love. We have the Ten of Clubs coming on in. It's talking about your bosom is full. It is heaving, not heaving from exhaustion, a heaving from passion, maybe so. Because we got the Kundalini, Kundalini, mm -hmm. Kundalini Serpentine Fire coming on in here, rising up from the depths of the earth through this divine connection. Through this divine goldness permission that you've been giving life as you dance with its energies, it's creating a pump action like a, um, like, well, like a baby on the breast. That, that, that connection, that movement of it is what draws the milk up from the depths and the recesses and to the front of the mind like the moon. Gotcha. Okay. New moon full moon and is coming on up and coming forth and your heart is overabounding with joy. That has to do with, um, Let's keep going. They're talking about baskets and things, but uh, some of you, this has been something that's building since Thanksgiving, okay? So that's been just a minute. It was around that same corner. Here we have coming in the five of diamonds and the six of diamonds. Let's talk about being empowered in your own world and bringing in your own self, the own gestation of self, the time involved, the time invested, the time connecting with yourself in that pure, perfect place of, of the mind's eye where it comes together like the diamond pearl is what they're talking about. Let me get a, a diamond pearl. Where's the pearl? Hang on. Hang here with me for just a second as I sort these out. Okay. So let's get a pearl on that. Thank y'all for being patient as I'm working with this left hand of mine. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all trying to let go of attachment. That is what we have going on. And what I'm seeing here is it's more like debris, kind of like tartar or plaque can build up on your teeth. You're talking about that plaque having built up on here and not like the essence of the pearl that builds up into beauty. This is something that it's, it's, okay, they're talking about man's ways and wisdom. That's that false plaque. Plaque is not something you want on your teeth. It's not something that makes it healthy and builds it. It's something that creates a, a, a surrounding to decay. So this plaque is like man's false wisdom, like our reality. And we convince ourselves that is our truth, but it's placking up your diamond, your crystal clear clarity that goes on in the centrality of your mind. And they're telling you that, that they're also, this is now showing up, ignore what's down here, as a four swords energy coming in, delight, the light coming in that healing to come about in you because having your diamond crystal clear is going to bring in the joy, the freedom and the opening for your breasts, your bosom, your heart to overflow in this earth and kundalini fire energy, which is that breathing, the breathing of the earth. All right. I need to take notes. So I take notes, the breathing of the earth, the breathing of the earth. So let's clear that attachment that was calcifying your, um, Diamond mind eyes. So we have two things coming in here. Oh, thank you. Yay, y'all. Remember massaging the ruby? Massaging the ruby. I guess Michael can massage our diamond to Michael. Come on in because he is wanting to go straight for your 
heart. The divine creation, we have 33 and 35 showing up here. And we have the power of the red, this earth star, this soul star energy coming on up. Soul star, solstice. They told me to start with the Magic Monday and not the Gateway reading, but apparently I need to segue and tell you a quick little blip about that. In a handful of days, I'm going to put out the reading, the 1221 reading, which has to do with the Golden Self. Is the Gateway under the Golden Self. And it's for those who tune in here at the Joy to the World channel. For other people, it's the Age of Aquarius, so there's other things coming in. But, you know, we've been bringing in plasma. It is the light that lives beyond all darkness. It is the place from where we all have originated from not just the stars in the other places but the origin of all origins it is actually where life came from it is the central point and the spark of all beginnings so that's what we will be bringing in and michael's like you gotta remind him joy because we work in this all together say so they bring in your diamonds your rubies your true pearls your true world opening up no longer being sequestered to a closet your delights remember your dreams your star manifestation the powering on of who you are and the powering up of who you are the uh turning on of your they're talking about your mystery in public okay since we talk about mystery in public peek a boo we got some stuff going on up in here with some might call naughty but she's like naughty bit nice so uh-huh and your six of diamonds that reciprocation is all up in it too talking about that is what i am talking about secret love how y'all keep turning it to love got cherubs all dancing up here sprawling out don't even need an arrow because it too it's your beauty it's your pearl so pearls, your divinement, you've been on a long healing journey, friend, long time coming. Okay, so we're coming into the nine of pentacles, and I would tell you to be ready for just gain, because there was some unjust gain from many of you, because you brought that up first about Cupid, um, some unjust gain, which is where a lot of this wisdom came, is from someone who took from you in a relationship. It was freely offered, freely given. But they felt the need to um, surreptitiously take from you, all right? That's a negatively charged energy. That is something that is degrading, and it diminishes the value of all involved, not just people, but the, um, the sources of life that were coming through and the resources of life that were coming up and around here. And so the tide has turned, the fire is rekindled, your pilot light is lit, and the passion is back on. How do we know? That's how we kicked it off, the return of your energy. And they keep pointing at my seven right there. I have that there for a reason because seven is the return of your energy and to yourself. And being that I do energy work and look at energy, a lot of times things can tap in and take. Uh -huh. Let's, it can take from me, okay? what was freely given. And then life has to restore that unto you and bring it back because it will always return to where it belongs, okay? But you need to have the awareness in your mind of that so that you can have just gain and the return of the fullness of love because you've kept hope for this, as you can see. Can you see? The hope is in your hands, all right? And that is what is coming forth from your hands into your heart. Your heart is abounding, full, and ready to serve. You're talking about kaleidoscope eyes. Okay, thank you. We got Kaleidoscope's eyes coming in here. And to me, all the fives are fantastic, wonderful cards. They're the card of the turn of empowerment to me, meaning the power is in your hand, just like here. And you can begin to divine and dance with life. We often can't find others to connect with, to do partnership work, whether it's a lover, a friend, a business partner, whatever. Um, because people have their own, their own stages, their own time, their own agendas, that sort of thing. But we can always divine with life. So all we need to make it to is the five to fully complete a cycle if we are willing and open anything else okay y'all got quite a bit to say here so we're gonna start out they're not letting me move it they're like with the top so first thing we have is a loyal heart 35 and it's obvious that you've had that my friend it is obvious look at this through it all through it all, you've been straight up, centered, balanced, temperance. Many of you, this is Libra going on here, or it's the Libra part of your chart. So be aware of what planets are there. I have Pluto in my house of Libra. So it has a lot of innings, beginnings, death, entrapment, things like that, that could be very dark and seedy that could create these charges being left in my energy field that um, really can be consumptive and destructive. 
but um, I've learned how to temper that into a place that I trust that the plan always works out. That I can only do, you know, what the, what power is in my hands, right? In the five, all right? And then I begin to dance in divine with life and life starts to restore me and to restore the power of my energy in the cycle and the returning of the seven. <laughs> is that why they had me turn this way? But soon there's going to be that reciprocated. Remember, we have this, this six of pentacles coming on in over here, right? The divine mint, the fruit on the tree, the, the flowers have been pollinated. They're coming for the fruit of your mind, your mind's eye, all that life has been showing you to channel through your truth to overtake your reality because reality should follow truth. The examples, the um, reiterations, the enforcement of what you've been bringing in to align with what you've known in your heart all along on earth as it is in heaven, okay? Divine crown, divine eye, getting the calcification off of your, they're like extracting your goods from where you have left them. Extracting your goods from where you've left them. So let's just take a quick moment. My hands, no matter that I want a credit card, went for a rune anyway. Where have you left them? Okay, where have you left them? We have flow coming in. Okay. Experience living, union emerging, unseen powers happily ever after. You've left them in the unseen realm. Your unseen powers, so you put them to the back of your mind. You stuff them back, like swept them under the rug, right? You put them into the unconscious realm. And that's the darkness around here. But that is what is being lit up. That is what is being demonstrated and brought forward. And I love that this card is showing up as a six of wands and four of swords power coming together to make the perfect 10, thus the zero and the one, the power button. And I can now see through the veil. What are we seeing through this veil? The world that is beyond, the world that you are calling in, friend. What world is that? Where did these go? So serendipity, a world of freedom and delight where there is the balance in what would seem like opposites are now called compliments. Well, you're like, how could we be against ourselves if we're here as one team? If we're here under the same unification of desiring life and like Big Papa, he's now light and happy. He's like, serendipity has a lot to do with this right here. The limnus gate with the eight. It's when we flow is when we begin to be reconnected to life. No longer cut off from our glory. No longer... Um, having the energy of takenness around us that that like the child is being restored to the master is what he's talking about here the child is being restored to the master and they're talking about the master mind so the world that we're talking about is the world of the mind the mastermind the world beyond calling it in and here we're dancing between these worlds so this will serve as a um Full moon, new moon, any moon reading along with your magic Monday. M for moon and magic and Monday, the divine trinity. So between worlds here is you need to bring in that third escape. The third escape is the subconscious mind that exists between the unconscious and the conscious realm. But the line is so fine that you almost cannot perceive that it... It's kind of like one of those optical illusions, like a part can be removed and it seems like they go together perfectly. Have y'all seen that where they cut the chocolate bar and all the little squares and they cut in a specific way and rotate them and move them around and the bar looks whole, even though there's one extra square sitting off to the side. That's kind of what we have going on here, one extra square. And now I can dive in with the credit cards. Downtime necessary. So power off for a minute. God, there is a lot going on, y'all. But I know you are calling in home. Returning to yourself. Restoring to your true self. Being able, y'all put up while I'm trying to figure out this left hand, right hand. Oh, good Lord. Coming into the balance of what you remember. Those dreams awakening in their invisible form. They're visible. If any of you have seen Predator, it's almost like the vapors on the road. It's the perceptible imperceptivity going on that we have happening here. What is it that you've been perceiving, friend? What is it you have been perceiving through this last month? What have you been picking up on? Sorry, y'all. Good Lord. Okay. This is a lot for me. Is it things that are coming in? that create and trigger fear? 
or have you been conquering fear with courage? Okay, courage can be a very charged energy, a very uprising energy. It can be slightly unnerving if having what you desire is new to you. That could be a little disturbing. But right here, we need to know creative concepts have been coming down to you. Seeds ready to birth themselves out that lead to your crowning glory, my friend. Your crowning glory that lead to the proper order of things progressing and moving forward into this divine, into this reciprocation, into this connection that Big Pop has been talking about here. What is it you've been wanting to connect with and plug into? What is it that you have been seeking fulfillment in and from and the, a return on your energy and your investment of what you have been powering up into, dancing within life, divining within life, okay? So right next door to romance, right next door to the doll to romance, we got bereaved. Mm. That is like that kundalini fire and it opens the Fibonacci as well. So the Divine Path, that's this whole month of December. And if you're tuning in after December, it doesn't matter. Check out the number 12 in that case. What do we have going on here? She's a 29, Divine 11. So it's talking about the enlightenment through partnership of the, the connection that, that goes in in the hearth, the home, the Cancerian um, multiplication addition, things increasing unto you, friend, okay, is what I'm seeing show up here that we need to do. Because remember, things were taken, subtracted, debted, that type of thing going on. So we're overriding poverty. Just a little note to say, let me write that down. We'd be overriding poverty. Thank you for your patience. I love you, friends who tune in here. And you're, you're so accepting uh, and loving of who I am exactly as I am right now, y'all. If we ever waited till we were great, what would come of that? So with this, let's get a color card for you guys to awaken. Somebody's wanting love. Somebody's in love, ready for Cupid's arrow to return. That is what is showing up here. And that is the divine foundation upon which your lips will speak. It's very much the heart chakra energy because it's the heaven on earth that you were talking about over here. Again, like the red and the green going on the heaven on earth that um, the pink has to do with the heavenly heart going on up here in the collarbones, in the opening of the throat, in the upper region where the thymus, thymus gland would be where youthful vitality, the overriding power, which says you can't. Oh, yes, I can. Think about the determination and the rising up of kids, the exuberance that comes from them. You ever wonder why they sparkle and shine? It's because of this. Look at that. Sure, straight as an arrow and opening like a bowl and totally receptive. Here it's that opening of the heart, ready to soar, ready to fly, ready to take wing and flight, no matter what the weather says. We'll weather the weather, whether we like it or not. That comes from Little Bear. Absolutely love it. But that's time for it to be here on earth through the creative manifestation of your divine trinity, your divine power coming in of this space in between here and where the um, conscious and the unconscious me is in your mind's eye in the home the vault the vault of your mind what have you been meditating on in the last month what have you been receiving in the last month it's definitely in the last calendar 30 days is what you're talking about here remember these creative concepts they're ready to form now that's why it's upright they're taking root and begin to look around and don't accuse everything of being a wee baby because this is some return on yourself some of that divine seven showing up over there be patient as i use my right hand pray for me please but it's coming out through the three layers okay it's coming out from yeah Mm -hmm. from the unconscious to the subconscious to the conscious mind coming forward you're going to gain understanding and this is all going to be seen clearly how do we know remember receptive intent renewed clarity okay that's what we have going on here and this is what we have going on friend you know i love you so much my friends and family and those visitors who have graced us with your presence stopping by this is a, a like a coagulative energy when we all come together and that's all i do is read what y'all flow through into me i'm just the microphone baby i wish you the best this holiday season and continue to tune in realize we're the whole zodiac these are not predictions this is talking from yourself to yourself to find out the resonance and the confirmation of what you've been picking up on but you weren't quite sure how to power forward into it okay so don't trust everything i say it's not important to listen to the words coming out of my mouth 
it's important to listen to what you hear, what your soul, what your spirit, what your guides lead you forward in. That is the treasure because you are the treasure, my friend. Just know I love you. I believe in you. Stop by, leave me comments, compliments down below, tickle those little buttons down there. And if you need to know anything about me, click that describe description box, whatever, the little arrow right down below, and it'll drop open and let you know a few things about me. Also, somewhere around the new year, I will have the website up and more official ways to have readings done with me. I love you. Bye.